fail. And so let's open our Bibles. We want to see the gift of healing and miracles. Power how the works, then I will come back to the gift of great fail. Have you got Acts chapter 2? Acts chapter 2. I tell you, I mean, to me, I hope you are to buy a row of the particular one. After two months, you start with the name of of Christ, the unity of purpose, and when people are together, then they are helping one another. And the Bible says this from verses. 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teachings. This is the early church believers. And to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayers. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple uh, in the te temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with, with grand and with grand and sincere hearts. Praising God and enjoying the favor of uh, the favor of all the people, and the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Chapter three from verses one. One day Peter and John were going to the temple at the time of prayer at three in the afternoon. Now a man who was rain from birth was being carried. To the temple gate called Beautiful, where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple courts. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Peter looked straight at him. As did John. Then Peter said, Look at us. The man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. Then Peter said, Silver or gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Taking him by the right hand, he helped him up and instantly the man's feet and the ankle became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Hallelujah. To Nazubuza Jia, Karamaya Uponyaji, the gift of healing and miraculous power. Then the Tata Kusaka Watwa Mungu, Mungu Anakamani. Karama hizi zipanye kazi katika nyumba yake. Nataka kusema mwili wa Kristo hautakuwa na nguzo wakati ambapo karama za rohoni kama karama ya kunyaji na miujiza azifanye kazi katika nyumba ya Bwana. Lakini pia nataka kusema kwamba ni makosa sisi kutafuta miujiza. Maana Biblia inasema these signs we will follow them that believe. Kwa hiyo hatutakiwi kufuata miujiza Miujiza inatakiwa itufuate. Na kwa hivyo mahali tumesoma kama, eh, eh, mahali tumesoma katika bibiria. Na na mbuka yuma pili niopita, nataka kusema kwamba, ili mbuku za mungu zitebe katika yuma yake. Ili kuwe na utebezi wa, wa kipeke, wa mbuku za mungu katika yuma yake. Kuna mazing, ma, mazing, mazingira, ambayo pia bingu utamani kuona. Kanika kanisa la kristo. Na kubuka yuma pili liyo pita, tuliona, tulipo potu na jifunisha kusu the gift of knowledge and the gift of knowledge. The gift of wisdom and the gift of knowledge. Tuliona tabi liyo kuwa na kanisa la kwanza, bibiria, inasema kwamba, hawa watu wa mungu, walikuwa kwa mocha, walikuwa kitu kimocha, 
Walikuwa wanapendana. Haleluya. Walikuwa watu waliokuwa wamekombolewa. Na Biblia inasema kwamba pia walikuwa wanashiriki kile ambacho Mungu alikuwa amewabariki nacho. Haleluya. Nataka kusema kati kati ya baadhi ya kazi ya mwili wa Kristo sio kuahubiria tu watu neno ambalo linaokoa ama linaleta ukombozi ni wajibu wa mwili wa Kristo pia kuwashughulikia walio na mahitaji lakini wakati ambao watu wamejaa ubinafsi wakati watu wamejaa ubinafsi that what you have is for you and your family and even when the lord speaks to you and commands you to help or to assist those who are in need if you cannot do it there is a problem in your life na kwa hivyo pili kanisa la kwanza alikuwa na hiyo shida walikuwa wanakuja pamoja biblia inasema kwamba regards chapter 2 biblia inasema they devoted themselves to the apostles teachings walikaa chini ya mitume wakafundishwa neno na pia walikuwa wanapatikana katika nyumba ya Bwana kwa sababu pia hii ni imani iweze kukua kumwangalia Mungu na kupokea miujiza na kupokea miujiza na kutumiwa na Mungu this pillar of faith is vital hallelujah na ni maana nimesema kwamba tunapojifundisha kuhusu the gift of healing and miraculous power kinachoshikilia kizingiti kinachoshikilia ni imani. Hallelujah. And so two very important things. Two very important things in Acts chapter 2 from verses 42. Umoja, unity. They were together and they shared what God had given them. Hallelujah. Wala waliokuwa na mahitaji. Walishughulikiwa. Wala waliokuwa na vingi waliwasaidia wale ambao hawakuwa na hiyo na kumbuka biblia hapa inazungumza kuhusu nini need need mambo ambayo ni muhimu katika maisha ya watu mtu akiwa kwenye huduma hii na na kuna need atuwezi tukaruhusu kuwe kuna mtu miongoni mwetu ambaye huwa analala nja na si kwamba yeye ni mzembe kwa sababu pia Paul said if you do not work then you should not do work should not eat. Na kwa hivyo tunapowasaidia watu watuwasaidie watu kwa sababu ni wazembe na wanataka kufanya kazi. Tunawasaidia kwa sababu wamefanya nafasi yao. Wametafuta kazi. Lakini unakuta wakati mwingine hawana. Na kwa hivyo when we do this, we create a good environment for the move of the spirit. Roho mtakatifu hutelea mahali watu wamejaa upendo. Na upendo brother in love upendo wa kweli wa kiungu sio mahali ambapo kuna vita na fujo sio mahali ambapo watu wanachukiana roho mtakatifu hivi hawezi tembea mahali ambapo watu wamejitembea na bitterness roho mtakatifu hivi hawezi tembea mahali ambapo chuki leja na ni wajibu wangu kama mchungaji kweli kuhakikisha nimewaunganisha nyinyi wote i struggle every day hallelujah i struggle every day to make sure that this ministry all of us we will be one unity of purpose mara roho mtakatifu anatembeana mahali kuna umoja mahali kuna upendo wa kweli haleluya amen bana si fiwe and so it is very very important to not to finish kuhusu karama ya uponyaji na miraculous power bila ambavyo hizi karama zinafanya kazi kuna mas, kuna environment ambayo uh, those gifts huwa zinatayarishwa na zinaanza kutembea na tunaona mujiza wa kwanza tunaona uponyaji wa kwanza katika Acts chapter 3 na huu ni wa hii ni wakati tu baadhi wakati ya bao roho mtakatifu amemwagwa na tunaona tunaona kwamba bishop peter wakiwa na john wanaondoka walikuwa wanaenda kwenye hekalu na biblia inasema kulikuwa na huyu kibete ambaye alizoea kukaa katika mlango na huyu beautiful gate na tabia yake kwa sababu alikuwa na uwete hapo anaweza kutembea kama wengine tabia yake ilikuwa ni kuomba asaidiwe kwa sababu mtu ambaye ni disabled hayuko sawa na mtu ambaye ni ebo 
Most of the disabled, the disabled people, and they need help. Na kwa hivyo, tusikuna huku kwanza, tukiona akiyoga pesa. Kwa sababu kama hakuwa na migu, alikuwa na shida ya migu, alikuwa kiveta wa migu, labda alikuwa na mikono, lakini hakeweza kutembea. Na kwa hivyo, labda hakuwa na environment mzuri, ya yeye kufanya biyasha, ya yeye kufanya kazi. Na minajua, unaweza kubaliana nami, hata watu wabao tukonao na nidis eo. Hawako sawa na wewe. Hata wakati wanafanya biyashara yao kwenye mji, na wakuta labda kuna kitu, kuna kitu wanavi uza kwenye mji. Hawako kama wewe, wewe wakati mingine unaweza ukiona mahali na uzia, haupati. Kama vile basa jude sana tushudie. Alikaa kwa soo yake, kakwajea, kakwajea customer, anatoa he. Ikifika jude, anayudisha. Anatoa tena, jude, anayudisha. Hakuna mtu wanakuja hafo. Na kwa hivyo, katika uwekuwa biyashara, kuna kitu wabacho pia, kinaitua, at, Actions of faith. You move out of where you are. Na unayana kutafuta biyashara. Haleluya. Na wiko mtu kiwete. Ni mbubu kwa ke kufanya hivyo. Na kwa hivyo, let us not bring this. This rain. Huyu kiwete ya nige kuwa. Anakaa katika. The beautiful thing. Tusimu na mbubu kwanza. Haleluya. Kwa sababu ya kuomba pesa. Lakini. Hallelujah. Sema akini. Kuna Yesu. Wami ujiza. Hallelujah. Kuna Yesu wana yafanya ni ujiza. Na wakati roho takatifu wa memuakwa. Kama sasa tunabwache ufubio utembe kwenye dunia. Nataka kuwamia watu wa mungu tumulia mungu sana. Kwa sababu wazee wa imani. Watu wa imani wengi ya mbao mungu wa liaza kukatumia kwanzia miaka ya stili. Wanapumzika. Watu kama kina Watu kama kina Renhan Bonke Watu kama kina Moni Saluro Hallelujah Na mengini ya bae kia mungu walikuwa na watumia katika Karama ya kufundisha There is this one One, 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 you know, one man is not died in the other day Paul Stanley is to Panini Mesahu You know, jina lingine Watu wa imani ya bae mungu wamekua ki watumia kwa njia ku Wanaondoka Wanaenda kuwa na buwana. Na kwa hivyo tunatakiwa tumulidia mungu. Ili mungu waweza kuinua. Watu waliyo na karama. Za kufanya miujivu. Na kwa hivyo bibili inasama kwa mba. Pita encho. Wawo hawakuwa na hela. Na shukuru mungu kwa sababu. Pesa. Hata kama bibili inasama katika. The book of proverb. Mane ya nansale. Mane ya nansale. I I do not want to disqualify what the Bible says. Like if we put up a comment in about this, I find it. Is it good? Yes. Yes. To na actually put up it to be the above you to never go and a pesa. What can do a corona? What to a moon? Kuna what to a yoku and a billion is a pesa. Now for some of you who are vaccine ya corona. Kule katika na dani tayi para tiju ni itali. Inasadakana kuna mtu alie, alie jiangusha, alie jirusha kutoka orofa ya juu. Kwa sababu wakona pesa na hizi pesa zake juu zika msaidia. And that is why we need miracles, miraculous power. Tunahitaji karama ya uponyaji. Hallelujah. Tunahitaji miraculous power. Tunawambea watu katia badi ya miraculous power. What the miraculous power, you know, dance. Ni kuwafufua pia wafu. Mbuka nilizama kuna uponyaji wa kawaida. Unamombea mtu. Hallelujah. Halikuwa na mwa lakini. Lakini leo hii. Mungu wa tupake na mbubu zake. Hallelujah. Na ninaamini mungu wa tupake na mbubu zake. Unaingia kwenye hospitali. Tukianzia na wali wali yu miongo ni mwetu. Tunatamuka neno na uponyaji. Na watu wanapokea uponyaji. Eh, tunarudi, tujipendi, tunatoka hapo, tunayena kwenye hospital. Eh, tunayena kwenye hospital, unakuta wakonjo, wamerana kwenye hospital, wengine wakonjo, 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 unaomba tuwa mimoja, watu wanaanza kuwa muka kwenye vitada viyao. Wanapokea uponyaji. 
and in miraculous power wakati mwingine roho wa Mungu akikuzungumzia na tumeenda kwenye moda na mnakuta kuna mtu tu baada ya masaa matatu amepumzika eh na roho wa Mungu anakuzungumzia anakwambia kwamba huyo ambaye amepumzika haupo wakati wake wa kwenda na unaenda mahali yuko unamuita katika jina la Yesu unamwambia kama alikuwa anaitwa whoever he is unamuita kwa jina lake eh na una kanso safari aliyokuwa nayo hayakwenda wapi mbinguni na anafufuka that is among the miraculous power hallelujah bana usijiwe na kwa hivyo biblia inasema kwamba Peter and John wakafuta huyu kiweke na kwa sababu tabia yake alizoea pesa akaomba akamwomba eh akamwomba akawaomba pesa lakini wakamwambia katika jina la Yesu pesa na dhahabu na tunu lakini kwa jina la Yesu tunakuwaomba simama na utembee haleluya simama na utembee na biblia inasema kwamba huyu kiwete alipokea huko uponyaji instantly and this is my prayer wakati ambao Mungu ataanza kutembea kwa njia kuu tunawaombea watu na watu tunapokea uponyaji hapo hapo haleluya hapo hapo na kama walikuwa wameandikiwa kuendelea na madawa kwa miaka mitano wanapokea uponyaji hapo hapo na wanaachana na mada, na madawa hiyo ndiyo kipawa cha uponyaji na kati ya mipawa ya uponyaji ni unakuta labda kama mtu hana kiungo fulani mnamwombea inaitwa created miracles eh it is called created miracles unamwombea mtu that is in miraculous power unamwombea mtu na labda mtu hapo na mguu na anapokea mguu mpya na anakuja katika nyumba ya Bwana alikuwa na mguu nusu anakuja katika nyumba ya Bwana amepokea sikia ya mguu wake Amen. Ama inaweza kama tu mungu. Kwa hiyo Yesu aliuliza wa kimoja. Aliuliza ni kama warudi duniani. Kama nitapata imani bana. Mwana baada akauliza. Nitakapo warudi duniani nitakuta imani. Kwa sababu karama hizi zinafanya kupitia imani. Nataka tusome hadi kwa lingine katika kitabu cha Asiyatafai. So huyu kiweke alipona. Na akaingia kwenye hekalu akiruka na kushangilia. Na kila mujiza ulipofanyika katika kanisa la kwanza kulikuwa na ongezeko katika nyumba ya Bwana. Na kwa hivyo wakati ambao watu wanapona wakati mujiza inafanya kazi katika nyumba ya Bwana kunakuwa na ongezeko kuna kuwa na riba hiyo. Riba hiyo katika kuambia watu wa Mungu baadhi ya mambo ambayo kuzao hivyo ni mujiza. Haleluya. Nasikia pia nimesema. Eh ni miuji. Lakini hatutatafuta miujiza, miujiza itakufuata. Mungu atatumia sisi kufanya miujiza na matumie wengine katika mwili wa Kristo. In general, Acts chapter 5 from verse 12. Na kuka jema pili ndio pinda tuliona Acts chapter 5. Ah uh, ah uh, kile kilichofanyika katika kanisa la kwanza kwa sababu ya Anania na Saba. Safira kudanganyana atakaona tunatakiwa tuzuie kuwa watu wa kudanganyana hobi hobi. Na sasa Biblia inasema hivi kwanza mstari wa 12 hadi chapter 5 verse 4. The apostles performed many signs and wonders among the people. And all believers used to meet together. Hakuna jambo ninajiridia watu wa Mungu na ninaomba huruma hii tutakuwa kitu unity of purpose unity and so the bible says and all believers used to meet together in Solomon's colony uh, no one else they had to join with them asikia bila bibili nasema baada ya kile kilichofanyika jumapili hiyo pia tuliona uongo wa kupangwa madhara yake uongo wa kupangwa madhara ya na nikasema hata ukijikuta kuna kitu kimefanyika unaongea uongo wacha iwe nikusukuma umesukuma au umeshtuki umeshtukia but and you are supposed to repent but you are not supposed to premeditate lie and so we, we don't want to have it on Sunday we 
tunaona kwamba analiza El Safira they died na hivi vilipofanyika hivyo sasa ndio Biblia inasema kuanzia mstari wa 12 ilipofanyika hiyo ripoti ilielea Yerusalemu kwamba kuna jamii moja ambao wameingia katika nyumba ya Bwana wakadanganyana na wote wawili wa wakakufa na hakukuwa na na time ya kupanga bayo Mwasio bila sema sasa sijui nani alikuwa sijui apostle Peter alitoa ruhusa wapi ya kusema wazipe kabla hajaita watu wao kufanya nini eh hey. ama hiyo hakuoni nini kwa hivyo yeye alikuwa na mamlaka ya juu jamii zao wajue baadaye watu wawili waliopanda uongo wamezikwa that is the authority and the power the men of god in the early church eh hey. Na kwa hivyo sasa Biblia inasema kwamba the apostles who performed the many signs and wonders and, and uh, among the people and all believers used to meet together in Solomon from the no one else dared to join them kwa sababu ya kile kilichofanyika kuna watu waliopopa kwenda katika nyumba ya Bwana na wale walioamua kwa uh, uh, wale walioamua kujiunga na wale wa warokore wa, 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 wa kwanza walienda wakiwa wameamua kubadilika that is the meaning hallelujah no one else means those who joined the early church believers they were decided to change because they fear na wao wasiwa wasijiunge na wao waende wadanganyane kile kilichofanyikia Ananiya and Safira kiwafanyikie and so that is why the bible is saying no one else there to join them but listen 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 to see achie hapo kuna watu tu waliojiunga na wao biblia inasema hivi they were highly regarded by the people you hear you know it was divine nevertheless more and more men and women believed in the lord and were added it is like a contradictory statement Nasikia vile ninavyo sema. Biblia inatafutia kusema watu waliokopa kujiunga na wao. Lakini pia Biblia inasema kwamba waume na wake walijiunga na wao. Kwa hivyo wale waliojiunga na wao ni wale ambao waliamua kufuata kanuni za Mungu. Na je, chachi ya leo unakuta watu hawa wapi kuja katika nyumba ya Bwana? watu wanatakiwa waje katika nyumba ya Mungu. Si sawa. Na tunaruhusu watu wa namna zote waje katika nyumba ya Mungu ili wakutane na hii, na wakutane na Mungu. Lakini hao wanaokuja katika nyumba ya Bwana, wanatakiwa wajue kuna nguvu za Mungu katika nyumba ya Mungu. Na kwa hivyo wanapokuja wanatakiwa wawe tayari kubadilika. That's the meaning. And so those who are added to them, who those who truly believe, those who are converted wale waliookoka na kwa kaachana na tabia na 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 na, 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 na mambo ambayo hayakuwa na upendeza Mungu those are the ones the, the ones who join them but nobody would just join them and the bible continue to say the bible continue to say as a result many brought skia sasa ile biblia na sababu tunafundisha kuhusu miracle of power and the gift of healing as a result many brought those who were ill into the streets wakati huu kumbuka kabisa la kwanza hawakuwa na church walikuwa wanakutana mahali wanakutana mahali fulani hawakuwa wameanza kujenga church kama zile tuko nazo kanisa lilikuwa moja wakati huu kanisa la mafarisayo na masadukayo the temple of sorrow na kwa hivyo walikuwa wanakutana wakitaka kufanya ibada wanakutana mahali wanafanya ibada hawako wamejenga kanisa na biblia inasema kwamba kwa sababu ya the gift of healing and miraculous power ambazo zilikuwa zinafanya kazi katika maisha ya mitume post of peter the bible says as a result people brought those who were ill into the street and laid them on beds walikuwa na pepo wengine na vitanda and 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 mat so that at least sikia bila bibiri inasema at least peter's shadow 
Hallelujah. Kivuli cha mtu wa Mungu. Kivuli cha mtu wa Mungu. Kiweze kuwa pamoja. Sio hata kuwa mmea. Kivuli chake alikuwa amebeba upako hadi kivuli chake kilikuwa kinawa kinawapoja mafuta shadow my fall on some of them as he passed by akipita crowd gathered also from the towns around Jerusalem bringing those who were ill and those tormented by impure spirit and all of them were healed all of them were healed hallelujah Naona vile ambavyo kanisa la leo tunahitaji Mungu wazo wa Mungu tunahitaji Mungu tunahitaji gharama hizi zianze kufanya kazi katika nyumba ya Mungu mikono yetu ijaye ndugu za Mungu tunapotangaza uponyaji wazo tunapokea uponyaji na nataka kuambia watu wa Mungu mimi sina shida na kuamini sina shida na kuamini mimi ninaamini hata kuna kile ambacho hakiwezekani kwa Mungu na kilio changu ni kwamba kwa sababu sisi hatuna vibao vyetu Hakuna mtu ana kibao chake. Lazima vile anasema watu wa Mungu. Na kwa hiyo si ni raumu ni ombe. Ni ombe Mungu alipake. Haleluya. Alikuja ni Bwana Msei. Pray for your pastor. Kwa sababu nikimwombea mtu akose kupokea uponyaji utaniuliza nini mimi? Kwa nini kuna nguvu za kuwaponya watu? Eh. Hey. Alimi talk to one another. Nikiombea mtu. Eh? Huh? akosa kufufuka mimi utaniulizia nini na ni watu ki na ndio maana tunatakiwa tumulilie Mungu ndio maana tunatakiwa kuombea watumishi wa Mungu hizi karama zianze kufanya kazi kupitia maisha ya watumishi wa Mungu na sio mchungaji peke yake hata wewe nasema hata wewe hata wewe Mungu anaweza akakuwa noni uwe na gift of hili. Hata wewe Mungu anaweza kukutumia kwa njia kuu. Na kwa hiyo Biblia inasema kwamba wakati wa wakati Roho Mtakatifu alipomwagua. Na nataka kusema kwamba karama za rohoni hizi tunazoziona na zingine nyingi huwa zinafanya kazi wakati wa revival, wakati kuna uvuvio mkuu. Wakati Mungu anatembea kwa njia kuu. Wakati Mungu anamtumia matumishi wake they are on fire for Jesus hallelujah na ninashukuru Mungu si kwamba hatujaona Mungu akitusaidia tumeona watu tumewaombea hata kama baada ya kuwaombea ili bidi waendelee na process ya ya madaktari si hata hiyo bado tunamshukuru Mungu eh hallelujah you see this church we are so open we don't hide anything if I don't know how power to help you pray for me and I'll pray for myself. Hallelujah. Na mchungaji wenu si mkora, mimi si kichanga yagi. Mimi si jihusishi na mambo ambayo hampendezi Mungu. Lakini ninaamini katika jina la Yesu. Another season is coming. Hallelujah. Na mimi majira mengine yanakuja. Majira mengine yanakuja. Na Mungu atapata mikono yetu na vile vitu vitakuwa vimejaa nguvu za Mungu na Mungu atatembea kwa njia kuu kwa sababu pia hata wakati wa utembezi wa Mungu Mungu mwenyewe ni wangu eh asikia vile tunasema kwa nini tunahitaji divine hivi kwa sababu kuna mambo ambayo yamefanya nini yamekufa yanahitaji kufufuliwa kama hakuna mambo ambayo yamekufa yanahitaji kufufuliwa uvuvio ni wa nini and so let us thank God in the first place that there are things that are not happening. Unasikia vile nimesema? Eh, kwa sababu hiyo inaonyesha kwamba tunahitaji kunahitaji mbele za Mungu na Mungu anataka kutembea ili adhihirishe ukuu wake. Wakati ambao tunaona hakuna moto vile ambavyo tungetamani kuongea ukweli katika maisha ya vijana wetu. Let's talk the truth. Hallelujah. Ana sipiwe. Na tunaopenda vijana wetu. Eh? Wakati tunaona hakuna moto ambao sisi tungependa. Wale na huo moto. Hii inaonyesha wanahitaji revival. Say revival. They need revival. Wakati ambao tunaona hakuna watu ambao wanajiunga na huduma hii. 
Kwa sababu labda hakuna kitu ambacho ni cha kipekee ambacho kinafanyika hapa. Eh. Ah, leo Najua baba anasikia vile ninasema. Eh, na baba anajua moyo wangu vile ninavyo zamani atutembele. Eh, wakati ambao watu najua kuna watu ambao wanajiundaka na huduma. Wakisikia kuna mambo makuu yanayofanyika kwenye hiyo huduma. Eh, wakisikia kuna mtu aliyekuwa mgonjwa wa kansa na alikuwa na group kwa mwili wake na alikuwa na anakufa lakini alipoingia katika nyumba ya Mungu na karama za rohoni zinafanya kazi akaombewa na akapata uponyaji instantly hivyo ndivyo tumesoma kwenye maandiko hawa mitume walikuwa wanaombea watu na wanapona hapo na stori za hospitali zinaishia wapi hapo if they hear that wakisikia hivyo katika mji huu wakati mwingine huwa ninatamani ninapopita hapa kale kuna wenda wazimu na kita kitara huu Nadhani wako kama watano kale. Na muangalie tu mwenda wazi mmoja tu hivi tunaangalia na kwa macho pepo zinalipuka anazunguka, anaokoka hapo hapo na anakobolewa. Na wakisikia hivyo, wanasema kuna Mungu. Kuna Mungu mahali fulani. Kuna mtu anayetumiwa na Mungu. Let us go there. I am saying in the name of Jesus, we need miraculous power back in the house of God. We need gift of healing in the house of God. Na kwa hiyo ni kazi yetu tuendelee kuomba na kumwelekea Mungu. Na ninashukuru Mungu kwa sababu haya mambo Mungu amenena kwa hiyo huduma hii. Hallelujah. Eh Mungu ameahidi atatubia huduma hii kuna wakati mmoja kwenye mambo siku akawa ninajiuliza ni nani huyo ama ni nini hii utafanyika? Wakati mmoja kwenye mambo siku nikaona mama fulani ambaye alikuwa na mtoto mgonjwa sana na kulikuwa na watu wengine wa Mungu hapo na huyu mtoto alikuwa mgonjwa kiasi eh, ambacho madaktari walikuwa wamemaliza na naye walikuwa wamefanya nafasi yao kwa hiyo wao walisema wamevika mwisho na kumbuka nikimwombea kwenye maono haleluya ina mission lakini kumbuka maono yakiombewa huwa yanakuwa dhahiri na kwa hiyo kwenye haya maono nikamwombea na ilikuwa ni hapa katika mji huo kale nilipomwombea wakati nilikuwa ninamwombea kuna mtu mwingine aliyekuwa ananidharau alikuwa anaka kama mchawi na alikuwa anatupinga na anapinga huduma hii anasema wewe we, unafikiria Mungu anaweza akakutumia kufanya mambo makubwa na kwa hiyo alikuwa anakejeli na anakejeli kazi ya Mungu lakini nilikumbuka kwenye hayo maono Roho wa Mungu kaniambia muombee huyo mtoto na nilipomuombea atapokea uponyaji na yule ambaye aliyekuwa anapiga kazi ya Mungu kwenye haya maono akaendelea kutukana Mungu na kusema hizo nguvu si za kweli Roho wa Mungu akaniambia mpige na upofu kwenye maono haleluya mimi najua kuna nisikiza ni kama it will happen in the name of Jesus oh. I am waiting it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh, naona vile unaniangalia unaweza itafanya karibi. Hallelujah. Kuna nguvu za Mungu. Hallelujah. Tunatakiwa tusilipu. Unajua sasa my wife, hiyo sio hiyo 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 sasa hiyo moja hiyo tukikaa tukizungumza. Hiyo moja sasa unajua si mwingine mwili wa Kristo Yesu anashangaa mmeombea mtu mmoja akapona sasa kila wakati mkisimama nasema tuliombea mtu hapa tunatakiwa tuamini wengi sio mmo wengi eh wanapona wakifuatana haleluya that's why you don't want to do anything in that home we need more move of the holy spirit of god we need the gift of healing we need miraculous power to come back in the house of god And so I was saying kuna watu wakisikia Mungu anatembea kwa njia kuu katika nyumba yake kupitia watumishi wake watakimbia hata tutaweza kuwaweka kwenye hiyo If God begins to move in this ministry through signs and wonders and miracles kwa mwezi mmoja tutakuwa tumetoka hapa na wengine walio na mashaka huku na mabilioni na mabilioni za pesa wakati huo ndio utaitwa pastor wakati ule mwingine 